undercut blades use a punch with the same diameter as the blade pins. First remove the pivot pin. Be sure the tapered end of the pin is up and the punch is centered against the pin. Lightly tap the punch with a hammer. Next, move up to the cam pin hole. This pin is not visible through the hole when the undercut blades are retracted. The undercut blades must be partly extended to get to this pin. To expose the cam pin, push or pull on the drive end of the undercut tool until the pin is visible. Drive the pin out with the punch and hammer, then remove the blades. The replacement blades come packaged as a matched set. For proper installation of the cutting edges of the blades, hold them with the carbide cutting edge not visible. Roll the top blade 180 degrees to expose the cutting edge up. This ensures that the cutting edges of the blades are leading when the tool is rotating. Notice the location of the pivot and cam pin holes in the blades. Insert the blades with the cutting edge up. Using the punch as a guide, align the holes for the pivot pin. Go from the underside of the shaft with the punch. Insert the pin in the hole with the tapered end down. Lightly tap the pin with a hammer. Keep the punch in touch with the pin until the top of the pin is flush with the shaft. This ensures that the blades do not slip during the installation of the pin. Install the cam pin in much the same manner. To align the cam pin, it is necessary to push or pull on the drive end of the undercut tool until the punch can be inserted through the shaft from the underside. Place the cam pin in the hole. Make sure the tapered end is inserted first. Lightly tap the pin with a hammer until it is flush with the shaft. At this time, remove the punch from the underside of the shaft and place it on top of the cam pin. Drive the pin into the hole until the blades are fully retracted into the shaft and the indicator pin has returned to its relaxed position. Once the new blades have been installed, exercise the tool to ensure smooth operation. The new blades should also be checked with the go-no-go no -go gauge as shown earlier.